What is pH, KH, and GH on water tests? Well, pH means potential hydrogen, which is the amount of hydrogen within the water. The smaller the number, the more acidic the water, meaning more hydrogen ions are there. Higher numbers mean it's more basic, or alkaline, so there's going to be less hydrogen ions. Bettas and many other fish live in waters with a pH ranging from 6.5 to 8, which means neutral, towards more basic. Tannins can be added to the water to help lower pH, but as long as the pH remains stable and doesn't fluctuate too wildly, your better should be fine, as it's the fluctuation that harms them, and they are very adaptable. But how do you stop pH from fluctuating and harming your fish? Now, well, this is where the KH and the GH come in. So, what are they? KH stands for carbonate hardness, and it refers to how well the water buffers pH. Another way of saying it stops the pH from fluctuating wildly. The higher the KH, the harder it is for the pH to change, and you'll generally want this number between 4.5 to 8 dKH, so the pH remains stable. So then what the heck is GH? Well, that refers to general hardness, or the amount of magnesium and calcium that's present in the water. These ions help with your betta's body functions, like bone growth, and also help dictate water hardness. Bettas can live in a wide range of water, but they do prefer it a little softer, or a DGH of 4 to 8. This also helps stop the pH from fluctuating too badly. So if you've ever wondered 